Welcome Aries Ascendant, Aries Rising. This is your new moon video. I'm going to give you a quick preview of the energies for the new moon. I'm going to give you the locations of your life that you're going to want to focus. This will enable you to be working with the energies and the powers that be that work when it's the frequencies. Where the new moon energy is in your life, it is in your third house. Your third house is the way you think, the way you relate, the way you communicate. The third house is all about the way we talk and express and understand things. Typically, the third house represents that age when you were small and you were like in, in primary school, you know, grammar school. And so we can relate peers to the third house. We can also relate our siblings when we talk about people. As we get older, we look at the third house a little bit differently because we've aged. And so if plans, planets are transiting through there, this is like co-workers. This can be neighbors, right? People who are in your community, in your neighborhood. And this is considered a Gemini new moon. And the beauty about the Gemini new moon it is this is a, a special energy that is focused on humanity. It is glo focused on global work. It is focused on doing good by your fellow man, about setting goals and intentions that include, you know, th the people who are part of your world, your, your, your immediate world, your micro, and your macro, your outer world. So for the Gemini being Aries Risings, right, this is the third house. This is going to be about being open-minded as well and having, you know, it's all about thinking and logic and, and, and being able to, to see the how-tos to do something. I mean, we have the planet Neptune exactly squaring the, so the third house is thinking, right? Relating, speaking, siblings, you know, co-workers, people in my immediate environment, peers. The ninth house is considered philosophy, the house of higher learning, the house of, uh, you know, continuing education. I was talking with a friend about this the other day. We were differentiating the learning aspects between the third and the ninth house. The third, of course, being primary school and grammar school and all that. And the ninth house being more of the because it's Sagittarian energy, so it's this, I'm going away, I'm traveling to go to school, okay? So in your world, depending upon who you are and your ability to express your freedom, that might look differently. I'm going to give you an example of what that means and how it can get really clouded and, and gray. Uh, we were just talking about all the stuff that's going on, right? The whole lockdown and how that's going to look come fall and what are the realities of what that might be like. For the ninth house energy, and because the south node is in Sagittarius energy, okay, ninth house, and Sagittarius being this, this, I'm going away to school, and the south node representing we're letting this go, we're releasing that, we're moving away from that, and this is going to be in effect for 18 more months, all right? So it's, it makes a lot of sense. And on the day of the new moon, you're going to have communications that are really, that can be very idealistic, but almost to the degree where it's unrealistic. So it, it's really going to be a time of understanding how acute, right, how sharp, how well your ability to discern is. All right, we've got a stellium of planets in Gemini energy. You're going to have the sun, you're going to have, uh, yeah, you're going to have the sun, you're going to have the moon, you're going to have Venus, you're going to have Mercury, and then we're going to have the North Node. So typically this will definitely take on a very spiritual meaning because of having five things in that location, right? There's like a standard rule. Anytime there's like three or more planets in a sign, it takes on these very spiritual attributes, which, which is kind of what we need at this time. Now, in addition to that, we have Mars at six degrees in Piscean energy. Now, Piscean energy represents the higher octave of Venus, okay? So it's where I love something, I love someone, I have very high ideals. But when Mars gets involved, it becomes idealistic action, becomes spiritual activity. Now, because Mars will be squaring the sun and the moon, all right, but then at the same time, we've got all those planets in Gemini taking on this spiritual vibe and Neptune in Pisces squaring Mercury and Venus, like exactly, 
You just want to be aware of something where if it sounds too good to be true, it likely is. If there's something you're getting involved in where, you know, the best thing to do with this kind of energy is to, is to hook up with individuals or for yourself to act in a way where you expect nothing in return, where you really are doing something for the best for all involved. It's a, it's a really great, it's a, first of all, it's a great creative energy. You know, when you're seeing and hearing, you get like you just all these great visuals and sounds and thoughts and feelings, you know, put them to music, to sound or paper or voice, whatever that is, a great creative energy. Um, if you can't do that or if that's not who you are, it's then a time of, again, maybe some spiritual activity. Speaking of which, we'll be having our, our new moon ceremony. And that is a way of taking intentions and speaking them into the universe and then putting them down on paper and offering up with tobacco uh, to the elements and calling in the archangels and working with all of the nature spirits and utilizing the Mars in Pisces with Neptune in Pisces, utilizing the spiritual activity. The other thing you have to be aware of because Gemini energy represents the internet. It represents social media. It represents news and information. So when you have Neptune squaring Mercury and then Venus is involved, Venus has this, I love, right? It has this, I can speak in really loving ways. Or you may hear someone, you know, offering love or speaking, you know, whatever that may be. Understanding it's not so much necessarily that someone is purposely trying to deceive or be... Um, you know, misleading, it's more of we all are going to have this just really high vibe coming in, okay? And so the goal is how do we bring it down and how do we make it reality? How do we make it tangible? What do we really do with it? So understanding this is a fleeting feeling and it really is assistance for new moon energy and to, and to literally get involved in some spiritual sort of activity. That's a good time for meditation, right? Great time for meditation. Really good time to connect with other like-minded individuals to do something that is progressive, that is positive, that will help people, right? Not to bring people down, but to, to literally help lift humanity. So being in your third house Aries, you're in a great place, right? This is, this is abundance of a very idealistic, almost a Christ consciousness sort of vibration in your, in your thinking, Okay, in your speaking, in the way that you're going to be relating. So this will help you to hone in. And after this new moon energy has subsided a little bit, you're going to think things through. Okay, and you want to see the reality of what can become tangible. What can you bring down, right? What, what, what can you, uh, as we say, take from the material realm and lift up into the spiritual and bring from the spiritual down into the material. You're wishing right? This is, this is a big deal, right? New moon intentions, lots of energy for it. Now, typically we would say to wait, but the, because we have these, uh, these frequencies on that day where you've got Neptune coming in strongly, that because there's so much energy and these are intentions, I plan on setting intentions on the 22nd of May. So you may do this later in the day, you know, whenever obviously is good for you, where you literally have time to be in your own space, you know, where you have some time to really focus on that which you need going forward for your future. But understanding that whatever it is that you need, your thinking, the way you think about things is going to have to remain very flexible because we're all being asked to that. We are all, you know, this is the new moon in Gemini. It's really kind of part of all this, right? You've got North Node at 29, Mercury and Venus at 20. And this is all about being flexible, being open to learning more. That would also include the way we communicate, how we relate, right? We've been used to it being in one way. So yeah, there might be a different way. So just being adaptable. Uh, you know, gardening is a big thing I keep hearing hands. Gardening, whether it's gardening or crafting or doing, being something that's more hands-on, more tangible stuff, right? But literally using, being busy. This would be important. Now, when it comes to your intention, you're just going to keep it real. It's in your third house. It has everything to do with your thoughts, how you think, understanding that before we can create something, before it comes into the physical, it begins here. It begins with the thought, right? And from your thought, you speak it, okay? And then when you speak it, every choice, every action, every experience you have from that point on comes to a decision 
that somehow leads you back to that original intention. And this is how we bring things. This is how we manifest. Remember, don't forget your community, how you can work within your community, how you're going to be more embracing your local community. Remember, people, this is our local businesses. And if that is you, right, and if you aren't that, then maybe there is something that you have that you can offer to people in your, lo in your locality. There might be something that you can, you know, some sort of a talent, a skill, whatever it is, whatever it is that you have, somebody doesn't have and vice versa. And it is this energy of humanity, this, this embracing of each other with our community where we can support one another. Okay, Aries Ascendant, I hope this has put some light upon your path. 